Encikgu Fami for Pandai Tutors. So we're going to have our another session of live webinar, which is today. I will conduct a live webinar for the Maths Home 4 with the topics of that's right. We have algebraic, eh, sorry, we have quadratic equation and functions. So before we go inside the live webinar, so let's see how many viewers we already have at the moment. So based on my phone, I can see there are eight people already. Can all of you say hi to the chat? already with us this morning all right so just a short introduction this is the first chapter of home four uh, the new syllabus kssm uh, and uh, for the previous syllabus the previous kbsm it the second chapter for home four max How is day going? Mana puasa hari ni tadi waktu pagi tadi dalam jam tujuh. Hari ni merupakan puasa yang ke dua belas. Already the twelfth day of Ramadan. So we already half way of di Ramadan. Sedar tak sedar kita dah separuh bulan. Dah dua belas hari puasa tinggal lapan belas hari lagi untuk kita. Beraya. Masih lagi belum terima. Belum nampak komen-komen daripada viewers. Can anybody at least say hi or just make it meriah di ruangan chat tu. I want to see. So in another few minutes, I will start the webinar. We have a topic today. We have Diva Yani, Hi, Zulaika Ali, Muat Filus, Fatih Shafika, Imran, Imran. Saya puasa penuh lagi cikgu. Alhamdulillah Imran kalau tak puasa penuh boleh tukar nama lepas ni ya. Imran Hadi ke sedap sikit. Okay. So, I'm happy with the numbers of viewers we have. We have 11 viewers at Today, so it's quite impressive for me, considering it's a Ramadan day, it's a puasa day, and still morning, early in the morning. Except whenever you go to the school, eleven already, in the middle of the school day. So, no, apa semua? Apa ni? Macam nak kain? Okay, so I'm about to start the lecture, the webinar. So let's go to our slide. All of you can see the slides clearly. So this is our topic of the day. Again, it's a quadratic functions and equation with addition. I just forget to mention the the chapter, the full chapter right, uh, just now. It's actually quadratic functions and equations in one variable. Oh, panjang lah cikgu. Tajuk pun panjang macam mana nak belajar dah sejam ni. Muat. Muat. InsyaAllah. Sejam je. Dalam sejam ni banyak kita boleh buat eh. Okay. So again, it's a first chapter of form 4 with new syllabus KSSM. And the second chapter of maths form 4 for the previous syllabus KBSM. So let's move. So, we start with the word itself, quadratic. So, as any of you know the origin of the word quadratic? Kita belajar quadratic, quadratic, tapi kita tak tahu kenapa nama quadratic. Ah, okay. Kalau dalam DM dia adalah dua, ah. 
Nice. Okay. Hi, Sham. So, any of you tahu tak dari mana dapat perkataan quadratic? Dilarang Google. Ah, jangan Google. No cheating. No cheating in the first month. Only month jangan. Okay, Muhammad. Salam cik. Salam. Okay. So, all viewers right now, please invite more of your friends to join this live webinar. The more the merrier, white people say. Yeah. Rasa macam DJ. Keluarga pagi-pagi bunyi macam ni. Apa? Okay. Siapa dapat uh, jumpa ataupun tahu already know uh, the origin words of quadratic and why quadratic? Tahu. Bagus. Jujur. Bulan puasa tak banyak minggu. Bagus. Sudah kali. Okay. Tak tahu. Okay. So actually quadratic is a Latin word. Latin ni mana? Kita merujuk bila kita sebut Latin ni kita merujuk ke mana? Uh, Latin ni mungkin belah-belah uh, Amerika Selatan sana. Kita tengok Amerika Selatan sana. So Latin words for Quadratum uh. Bunyi macam kata Arab. Antum. Oh. Tapi ini adalah Latin. Quadratum. So quadratum ni maksud dia adalah square. Okay. Kenapa quadratum square? Tapi kita quadratic ni kuasa dua. All of us, I know, you already well known that quadratic is the power of two. But then, Kenapa the root words quadratum meaning of quadratic refer to a square? Quadratic apa? John Wayne. Oish, nama. Orang putih join kelas saya pagi ni. John Wayne. Quadratic apa? Soon, when you go along all the lectures today, you will get at least the idea of what is quadratic. So, the root words I just uh, know it quadratum square, which refer to a square, a two dimension shape square. Let's say with the set length of x, then the area will be square. So when we derive the so into quadratic. So it refers to the uh, behavioral macam square. Dia nampak macam square. So from this, dari sini lah kita dapat kataan kuadratik yang kita pakai sehingga hari ini which is in Malay we have kuadratik. Okay. For a quadratic, it is a second and no higher power of an unknown quantity of variable, which is dalam sesuatu uh, equation or functions, the highest power, okay, ramai keliru kat bawah ni, apakah itu unknown quantity of variables? Hampir lurus ke dia, dia macam gini, bagus. So, unknown quantity of variables, kita refer as unknown. Unknown, uh, the usual unknown we use x, what as y. Okay, so in the equation we have y equal to mx plus c for example. So this equation, many of you will be confused with uh, which is the unknown and which is the constant. Okay, so unknown we consider as the variables. And we can uh, different. We had we can have different values of unknown for this y and x. While the constant right now m and c actually a constant. So nevertheless, what's the value of y and s? M and c will remain 
the same. So that's why we call it as a constant. So the value of y will depends on the value of x. So again, so x we can see here the highest power of this equation is 1. So this is not a quadratic. So for a quadratic, it has to be at most power of 2. So for example, x squared, y squared, 5p squared, 3c squared plus b. So as long we have the value of the value of the power of the unknown to be at most two, so that is already a quadratic. But again, when we go back to the chapter itself, quadratic equation and functions in one variable. So right now we have c and b. So this consider we have already two variables. But then we have, we're going to have only one for the rest of the day. So, kita nak ambil, okay, kita ambil dulu. Okay, clear? So, okay. Differences of expression, equation, and functions. Sebut expression, hampir tersebut expresso. Pagi-pagi kena espresso. Oh, mahu. Sedap punya bulan puasa ni. Just down the floor. Hey, everyone. I'm late. Oh, no, no. We just about to start. Please join us. If you have friends, please invite it. Okay. So, difference of expression, equation and functions. Some of you might be, uh, it is, and functions okay from the topic we have quadratic equation and function and just now i just add another one term expression so the difference between three all of these three okay expression equations and functions okay let's start with uh expression first Right. So before we going further with quadratic, we have to know the standard form of quadratic. So expression, the expression of quadratic. So the general form of quadratic is a x squared plus b x plus c where a b and c are constants and a must not be equal to zero why kenapa a tak boleh sama dengan c far kalau a sama dengan c far c far darab x square makanya dia akan jadi So, yang tinggal hanya dx plus c. So, this is not already a quadratic. Uh, dia dah downgrade jadi linear. So, that's why for all quadratic equation with a uh, standard form generalization, we give ax squared plus bx plus c and then another statement, a must not be equal to zero c intercept okay well done c is intercept bagus jom ni ni monteveros i didn't register but i attend the webinar not a problem we are welcome all the viewers kalau tak pernah tahu pasal pandai this is the right time to know about pandai pandai tutors we have a group of tutors and we have several time, several slots for the whole week. Then nanti, uh, siapa yang dah subscribe akan dapat jadual. Siapa yang tak subscribe, uh, dia kena teka lah bila ada masa-masa ni. Okay? 
and kecerunan okay that's will be for straight line kalau lah untuk kuadratik kita tak ada m untuk kecerunan okay so again the general form of general form standard form kalau in uh, bahasa Melayu kita katakan uh, general form bentuk general bentuk umum okay nice bentuk umum untuk quadratic expression adalah ax squared plus bx plus c for example we can have 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 this is a quadratic expression we can have 2x squared plus 7x and we can have as well 2x squared plus 6. It doesn't matter as long the highest power of unknown is 2. Here, this 2. Even if we only have 2x squared, still a quadratic. Okay? So, what is equation? Equations. Tadi ada general form bentuk umum x squared plus b x plus c. Apa beza expression dengan equation sama sama dengan y. Or in this context kita letak kosong sama dengan a x squared plus b x plus c. Saya tersebut kosong. Kosong refer to space. This is actually a sifar, digit sifar. Okay, so sifar equals a x squared plus b x plus c. This is okay. Dari pada tadi general form tambah sama dengan jadi equation. Okay, next function general form sama tak berubah a x squared plus b x plus c. Function apa dia? Tambah fx. That's the difference. Okay, so the number of viewers are rapidly increasing. So I'm quite happy. Not quite happy. I'm just happy with the numbers of viewers. Okay, pagi-pagi, bulan puasa, pukul 11. Oh, nampaknya kita ada jejak kasih. Aiman Azam kata betul dan Zulaika Ali uh, mungkin menegur dia. Tak tahu dia tegur siapa. John Wynn ke? Okay, tak apa. Okay, so for equations, kita akan solve the equation. Okay, ni ada different keywords between equation and functions. Kita akan solve factorize and for functions kita akan lukis graph ataupun kita cari roots actually it's a pretty similar words between and functions uh, but then uh, just don't want to get all of you uh, we're going to all the Parts uh, step by step. The graph of quadratic functions. Always remember, bila sebut function, bila sebut function, depan dia mesti ada fx. Tak suka f, teringat dekat cikgu Fahmi, benci cikgu Fahmi, pakai g. Later, tak ada masalah. Life is easy, don't make it hard. Okay? Tak suka cikgu Fahmi, benci huruf f, huruf brain. Tak suka GX. Pakai huruf H. Tak ada masalah. So, this is a function. Okay. So, Fx, apa tadi general form? Mesti dalam susunan X plus X plus C. Remember, this A, B and C are constants and A cannot be B 
Kita Salam cikgu kacak Allahu bulan puasa Jangan pergi lebih-lebih Eh, kan tak jadi kelas <laughs> So, actually this part We're going to identify the shape of a graph Okay, kalau ada graph Semua orang tahu Ataupun at least You have any idea, pernah dengar somewhere ada orang bagi tahu ke yang bentuk kuadratik ni dia macam muka senyum. Ah, okay. So let's see the next slide. Okay. Find the difference between these two figures. Ada berapa perbezaan? Between these two figures, there are few differences. Find how many of it. Itu bukan saya bohong <laughs> Okay, actually bukan Kenapa ada satu macam ni Ada satu macam ni Okay, so untuk graph quadratic functions Again Always remember the general form Form Put kita Fx Equal Ax square plus Bx plus C Alright, so tengok dekat sini Please listen carefully The shape of the graph. Sekarang ni kita buka se nyum. Sini ada muka ma. Ah, okay. So, two different types of graph berarti satu senyum, satu masam. Okay, untuk senyum bila senyum Mesti positif How we say Greater than zero Even A equals one As long dia positif Maka graf kita akan jadi Senyum okay. Kalau A negatif Which is less than zero Negative one Negative ten Negative hundred So all values of A Which are less than zero Jating the graph or quadratic to be Masam Ingat A ni macam duit kita Duit lebih daripada kosong Kita suka muka mesin senyum Kalau duit tak ada Apa pun tak tahu Masam je muka kita Hari ni lima bulan lima Selalunya Shopee ada buat sales yang baik-baik Lima -baik. hari bulan lima Empat hari bulan empat So kalau lah kita nak Shopping dekat Shopee Duit tak ada. Kosong. Negatif. Asalnya tengok orang lain. Orang lain ada duit. Dah pergi banyak pada kosong. Senyum. Okay. That's how we uh, identify the shape of a graph. By the value of A. So B. H, A, B, C. Adakah dia punya function sendiri. Not referring to the quadratic function. Uh, rules. Okay. I mean the rules. A, B, and C ada rules dia masing Okay So A Kita nak tengok shape of graph B Kita nak tengok axis of symmetry Ah, kata pula axis of symmetry What is the axis of symmetry? Axis of symmetry is a line that We divide two sides To be equal so, Potong satu area dengan satu garisan Kalau kiri dan kanan tu sama Maksudnya line kita potong tu tadi Nama dia Axis of symmetry Okay So For a quadratic graph Equation of a axis of symmetry Okay Kita ambil yang contoh gambar sebelah kanan The right diagram So, the axis of symmetry will be somewhere around here. And, the equation of axis of symmetry usually, because it's a straight line, vertical straight line, so the equation will be A equal to something. Okay. 
depends on the value here on this all right so to find the equation of a axis of symmetry the pakai formula x equal p over negative 2 k is it i need formula dia kalau nak cari axis of symmetry kalau macam ni Senyum ni, axis of symmetry dia adalah Y axis Okay, so Y axis kita boleh tulis sebagai Y axis lah Okay, kalau ditanya apakah What is the axis of symmetry for this curve Just write Y axis As simple as that Okay Okay guys, semua viewers Boleh kan? Ah, Max ni, senang je, senang je So ini pun sama, x equal b over negative 2a Moving to c, c is the vertical intercepts Why I use vertical intercepts instead of y intercepts Later on, untuk graph quadratic functions Dekat y axis punya label ni, we not actually using y. We may use fx or gx. So, it's a vertical. 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 So, c is a vertical intercept. So, this will be our c and this will be our c. C is vertical intercept. Dan macam mana nak tahu kalau lah dalam gambar tak tulis C berapa kita ada equation ni tadi kan. Tengok sini kita ada equation and to find the value of C substitute the value of X to be 0. Ha, nanti kira-kira dapat which I will do later. Alright. Bagus Zulaika hari ni. Okay, kita, kita ada 23 orang dah berkurang seorang jadi 22. Adakah semua masih bersama saya? All of you must stay with me. Alright. Next we move to the roots of equation. Okay. Saya ada satu pengumuman. Ah, Tengah-tengah lecture ada satu pengumuman. Whoever you are going to stay until the end of the class, okay, there will be two bonus question. Okay, there will be two bonus question, which is, siapa yang dapat jawab dengan betul? Orang pertama yang saya tengok dekat komen, dia jawab Minta jawapan dekat komen First person to ever get the right answer And leave it in the comment space I will give you duit raya Okay, so we have a deal Ah, So ada dua soalan So ada dua orang yang akan dapat duit raya Apa banyak saya tak boleh cakap Terima sahaja seadanya, ikhlaskan hati Tapi, this two bonus question, each question, there will be a prize and the fastest with the right answer, we get the duit raya. Okay, so anyone who insisted until the end of the class, just because the sake of the duit raya, say hi. Okay, 23, we're playing with the Nurin, ni baru masuk ni, bersama. Eh? Are you sorry, bersama. Good. So, roots of equation. Apa benda roots ni? Roots adalah akar. Roots ni apa? Kalau dalam matematik, kita kata punca. So, let's just give a very simple view of these roots. 
Okey. Katakan kita ada pokok. Okey, maafkan saya kerana lukisan tak boleh apa memberasangkan. So this pokok okey will be definitely dekat tanah. Mana ada pokok terapung di awal-awangan. Dalam bulan puasa ni jangan merepek ya pokok kita nampak terapung. Tadi saya nampak pokok bunga kaktus terapung dekat depan rumah. Okey, baik adik boleh tidur. Itu tanda-tanda tak cukup tidur. Okay. Pokok sepertinya berada di atas tanah. So we draw a tanah. The land. Okay, Sarin. Quite excited ya. Eh? Okay. So where, sorry, my question is at the pokok, which part of pokok is the roots? So the roots will be here. Right. So just see that roots, it touch the ground. Meaning that, so we can move to you. Tak kisahlah dia akar banir ke, akar serabut, akar tunjang ke. Okay, akar ada dua jenis kan. Serabut dengan tunjang. Besar sikit dia akar, akar banir. Okay, so this akar, dia sentuh ground. Dalam next pula, kalau kita ada axis, y axis, x axis, kita ada quadratic curve. Contoh, ni quadratic curve, a greater than zero, pandai. So, this quadratic curve, tempat yang dia jumpa x axis ni, horizontal axis ni kita panggil tanah. Okay, tempat yang dia jumpa ni, dua titik ni kita panggil roots. Roots of the function. Okay. Are we clear with the roots? Okay. Dalam maths, roots of equation bukannya akar. Tapi kita panggil punca. In English, doesn't matter. Still the roots. When it comes to Malay, roots of equation adalah punca kepada persamaan. The definition. Okay. For a roots of quadratic equations, the value of variables that satisfies a quadratic equation. Satisfy. Okay, apa maksud satisfy? Memuaskan. Okay, memuaskan. Nak puaskan apa? Nak puaskan persamaan. Okay, tadi roots kita nampak dia silang. Lepas tu kalau tengok definition pula, value of variables that satisfy a quadratic equation. Okay. Memuaskan. Apa yang dikatakan dengan memuaskan? So for example, equations kita ada, okay, uh, I will give an exact uh, equation, quadratic equation. Y equal to x squared plus 4x minus 5. Okay. It's looking good. So, the value of variables that we are mentioning right now kita refer kepada variable x. Ini so, yang kita nak cari, nak kita nak uh, libatkan sekarang ni adalah x. Dan bila dia kata satisfy quadratic equation, memuaskan persamaan quadratic, Y ni tadi akan jadi zero, sifar. So, when we find a value of X that will give Y to be zero, thus, we said that the value of X, that X is the roots of equation. For example, here, I would say that uh, when x equals 1, kita substitute dalam equation ni, 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 5, 1 squared is 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 minus 5 is 5, so we get y equals 0. Thus, this value, x equal to 1, is the root of the quadratic equation. Okay. 
Pandai Muhammad Daniel Zanuddin Satisfy dalam map macam memenuhi syarat Betul, exactly Memenuhi syarat But then kita kena clear Apa tu memenuhi syarat Syarat apa pula ni cikgu Quality equation tu pun ke syarat-syarat pula ni ha, Macam nak couple pula Kau nak couple dengan aku Syarat ni kau dengan layan perempuan lain Macam tu, bukan Syarat dia satu je Y mesti jadi kosong Kalau Y jadi kosong Maka X tu betul lah Ia adalah roots Alright Okay ya So let's have uh, a very simple exercise I'm sure some of you might not have your calculator with you right now uh, It's a good thing to do maths without calculator Last night I having a short conversation with a friend of mine is from Indonesia So dia tanya, boleh tak jawab maths tapi tak pakai Boleh, tak ada masalah Okay So Right now kita nak cari uh, value of x with which satisfy bila kata satisfy maksudnya that x will be the roots of equation so kita nak kita kat sini ni x ni kita ganti dengan ada value 1 2 3 4 5 so when we substitute each of these x into the equation which x will give the result zero contoh first one saya buat untuk yang first kali kan all of these x with zero saya ada 3 0 3 0 3 Minus 5 So kira 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 Kita dapat negative 5 Jawapan dia negative 5 Tak sama dengan 0 So dia tak memenuhi syarat It can satisfy the equation So salah Yang x equal 0 salah So x equal 5 Okay A few of you already find the answer Nurin Hana dapat 1 per 3 dengan Negatif 5 John Wayne dapat negatif 5 Tiba-tiba 140 apa ni John Wayne <laughs> uh, Aiman Azam soalan 4 sama dengan Sifa Betul John Wayne 1 point negatif 5 Apa tu? Wan Pilus dapat negatif 5 Okay So, you can do the calculation and then we will find the values that satisfy this equation is actually x equal to 1 over 3 and x equal to negative 5. So, yang tiga ni salah dan dua betul. So, whoever got this correct, all of it correct, uh, please tepuk tangan. Pagi-pagi dah pandai max, bagus betul. Okay, so I can see here Nurin. Oh, ada dua orang nama Nurin. Nurin Hanah dengan Is Nurin. Terus, kongsi nama. Jejak kasih lagi. Alright, we want to solve a quadratic equations. The method we going to use to solve quadratic equations kita ada empat. First, we have trial and improvement method. Ha, ini adalah less popular method. Why less popular? Usually, this is the last option for students lagi-lagi masa exam. Tengah buat exam, tiba-tiba kena solve. Dia tahu kalau nak solve ni, dia kena samakan dengan sifar equals to zero. But then, dia tak ingat cara. So, dia try guessing the value of x dia dapat makin dekat dengan sifar kita nak exactly sifar but then dia dapat value of x resulting close to zero so dia change to another x dia tengok so ini nama dia try and improvement making a guess dia tukar 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 sampai dia jumpa 
which is consume we consume a lot of time uh, so they're less popular we have next we have highest common factor h c f ini sepatutnya dah okay, semua orang dah ni difference of square a squared minus b squared nanti jadi apa nanti kita tengok factorization ini paling saya suka in fact for this topic factorization adalah most popular okay. most popular so, maksud bila kata most popular ni akan banyak soalan ni akan pakai method ni so bear in mind you have to be very very firm with show you later macam mana nak buat untuk factorization method right. highest common factor tak nak buat yang trial and improvement tu ambil masa yang agak lama so tak nak okay. bila kata factorization dan kita nak guna highest common factor biasanya bentuk dia akan jadi ax squared minus bx tak ada c general form kita ax squared plus bx plus c sekarang ni kita tak ada c ha. jangan takut kalau general form kita tambah tapi soalan dia tiba tolak jangan takut it's actually ax squared plus minus bx plus minus c but then when we refer to general form kita pentingkan susunan dia ax squared dekat depan bx dekat tengah c dekat belakang Tambah tolak tak kisah. Okey, tapi tambah tolak tu ikutlah. Eh. Janganlah asalnya tambah tolak kat belakang tapi sebab kita nak AX2 kat depan, kita bawa je AX2 kat depan. Tolak AX2 tadi tinggal kat belakang jangan wrong. Okey. So untuk yang ini, highest common factor of these two A dengan B definitely tak sama lah. So yang sama adalah X. So kita bawa keluar X yang tinggal okay, x minus okay, sebab sini tambah kita tukar minus b equals 0 okay. so when we want to solve kita ada dua terms first we have x next we have brackets x times brackets in the bracket we have ax minus b so let's see here the answer of this product will be zero. Whatever we multiply with zero, zero. So, the most easy thing, eh? Paling senang kat sini, kita tahu apa-apa yang darab dengan sifar akan jadi, jawapannya sifar. So, katalah, tak payah kata, kita terus tulis X ni sifar. Sebab kalau X sifar, dalam bracket darab sifar, dia jadi sifar. Okay? Tapi kalau lah X ni bukan sifar. Katakanlah X ni bukan sifar. Bracket ni pula jadi sifar. Betul? So this bracket, we just let it equal to zero. Using some algebra. Then we have B over A. So here, and here is the roots of equation. Usually for a quadratic equation, we will have at most two roots. It can be one and it can be no roots. Tapi at most, paling banyak dua sahaja. So let's try. Untuk soalan A, we have x squared minus 4x. Find the highest common factor of these two terms. So this, we are going to have buat sendiri eh x bawa keluar sama macam contoh di atas dan tinggal kat dalam x minus 4 plus kita dapat 1x sama dengan kosong x sama dengan padu John Wayne ni dah dapat jawapan tapi John Wayne sikit je ha, tak berapa tepat Eh? eh betul lah John Wayne buat betul Ya Allah ya Tuhan tu Bukan saya John Wayne okay. So 5x squared 5 kita 
factorize kita dapat 5 x squared plus 5. So ini bila kita uh, samakan dengan sifar nanti kita dapat okey 5 takkan boleh sama dengan sifar lah. So biarkan. So we have x squared plus 5 equal to 0. Tengok ni. So nanti daripada sini kita ada 5 tadi buat keluar x squared plus 25 equal 0. Betul? So yang ini, dia tak boleh salah je soalan ni. Ah, betul lah salah. Sebab nanti x squared negative 25. Eh sorry, negative 5. So squared pindah jadi square root negative 5. Salah, salah, salah. Okay. Maafkan saya, soalan B ni salah. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry eh, sorry. Soalan B ni salah. Ini mesti ada mischeck. Okay. So ini adalah highest common factor ni metode senang. Senang lagi. Boleh jumpa yang factorization yang saya mention yang popular tu. Okay, sorry eh everyone. Soalan B. Uh, just leave it there. Kalau nak betulkan pun uh, saya tak sure what's the actual question. Okay. Moving next. Uh, ini kita tengok bentuk. Okey. Bila saya kata bentuk dia mesti dalam something squared minus something. For this kind of method. Usually okey. Dekat sini actually kita boleh simplify lagi. A squared minus x squared guna law of indices. Kita akan dapat a x squared minus C squared. Dan kita dah simplify. Nampak sini? We have something squared minus something squared. And in form of AX squared minus C squared. Ha, yang ni BX. Okay, bila BX hilang dan dia nampak pula dua-dua ni ada squared, kita boleh pakai difference of squared. Tapi kalaulah dia tak boleh pakai difference of square, kita pakai highest common factor tadi. Okay. So yang ini Kita tengok eh, kenapa ada kotak kuning dan biru kat sebelah kanan ni. So ni adalah kotak kuning dan kotak biru. Eh, dah sebelah sima puluh eh. Untuk so, AX squared minus C squared Kita nak factorize So ambil exactly apa yang dah disimplify Sekarang ni nampak kan Kuning squared minus C squared Lepas tu bracket dia nanti mesti ada satu positif Satu negatif, satu tambah satu tolak So kuning ni salin exactly AX AX, yang ini C, yang ini C. Dan ini akan sama dengan kosong. So, both bracket will be equals to zero. Ah, nanti solve lah. So, for example, X squared minus 25. So, X squared minus 25, this is actually 5 squared equals zero. C squared minus something squared N. So, bila kita nak factorize, Buat dua bracket, equal zero, satu tambah, satu tolak. First, ada X, ini pun X. Lepas ada lima, ada second. So, bila samakan dengan kosong, sorry, sifar. X, kita akan dapat negatif lima. X minus five, equal zero. Kita akan dapat X equal to five. So, ada dua roots. Sama macam soalan B yang B ni is actually negative 16 X squared minus 121. Jadi cikgu cakap difference tolak something squared minus something squared. Ini kenapa negative tambah? Janganlah takut. So tengok dulu nombor ni. 1, 2, 1 ni 11 squared. 16 X squared ni negative 4. Saya terus simplify eh. Jadi macam ni. So actually kita boleh susun balik. Dia akan jadi 11 squared 
tolak 4 x squared sama dengan 0. Ha, kan dah ada something squared minus something squared. So, bila kita buat dua bracket. So, 0. 1 tambah 1 tolak. Kita ada 11. Dan kita ada 11 kat sini. Ini 4 x. Sini 4 x. Dah siap. Maksudnya, factorization. Kalau nak buat. 11 tambah 4 x equal 0. Bawa lagi x pergi belah sana jadi negatif. 11 equal negatif 4 x. So kita x equal negatif 11 over 4. Untuk bracket yang ini pula. Bawa 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 nanti kita dapat dapat x equal 11 over 4. Are we clear? So, ada lebih kurang 10 minit. We actually only on the halfway of the slides. Ha, ada soalan bonus. Ingat soalan bonus ada duit raya. So, I will make it fast. This is factorization method. Please uh, dengar betul-betul. For a factorization method, dia adalah melibatkan three terms. Which is already in the general form. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. So how we want to factorize an equation with three terms. Okay. So, tengok dekat sini. Saya warnakan. Warna. So, ini kuning. Ada biru. So, tengok dekat kotak ni, okay, semua orang kena ada kotak macam ni. Okay, ataupun pada basic dia, yang ini saja. So, saya buat kotak ni sebab nak tunjukkan dia punya proses. Ha, ada duit raya. Ha, excited ada duit raya. Kena jawab soalan dengan betul. Tapi dekat habis nasi. Ujung kelas nasi. Sabar. Okay, so untuk yang ini, kuning, okay, bila kita highlight macam ni, ada tiga group. So tengok sini ada tiga group kan. Kita letak dekat bawah dulu. So kat bawah ni kita ada AX squared. Dekat sini kita ada BX. Ah, sorry, sorry. Salah color. Salah color. Cikgu tanya salah color. Ayo. Ini adalah BX ni. Haa. Okay, sorry. My bad again. Kuning ni, okay, si kuning. Biru dekat sini, C. Kita ambil semua sekali. Okay, clear? So, yang dekat atas ni adalah, dia akan bergerak ke bawah. Okay. Apa dekat dalam ni, darab apa dekat dalam ni, dapat jawapan AX squared. Sama juga macam biru. Dia ke bawah eh. Apa dekat sini, Darab apa dekat sini, dapat C. And then, yang dekat sini pula. Ha, nampak nampak nak panah ni. Nampak nak panah ni. Ha. So, yang sini. Darab sini, dapat sini. Okay. Yang sini, darab sini, dapat sini. Ini kan? Okay, kita tengok contoh. Okay, kita colorkan dulu. Ini adalah apa-apa yang ada square. Hijau adalah ini. Biru adalah ini. So, kita letak kat dalam ni. X square. Ini 8. Sini 9X. So, kuning tadi adalah atas darab bawah dapat apa jadi X square. So, kita ada X darab X squared. Eh, X darab X jadi X squared. Okay. Next, untuk biru, apa darab apa jadi 8? So, 1 times 8, we have 2 times 4, what less? 2 je kan? Okay. Sebab kalau kita tulis 4 times 2, it's actually the same thing lah. Tak apa, kita main pusing-pusing je. 
So for this one, I will just write 1 times 8. 1 times 8 equals 8. And then kalau kita tengok kat sini, X darab dengan 1. Kita dapat X. X darab dengan 8. Kita dapat 8X. Bila kita buat, X tambah 8X kita dapat 9X. So bila kita tengok macam ni, tiga-tiga ni betul. Okay. Faktor dia adalah apa yang dalam bracket secara melintang. So untuk X squared plus 9X plus 8 equal 0. Faktor dia adalah 1. Plus 8 equal 0. Tambah. Then, equal to 0. X plus 1 equal 0. We have X equal to negative 1. X plus 8 equal 0. We have X equal to negative 8. So, these are the roots or the solution for the quadratic equation. Nanti tulis jawapan akhir. Macam ni boleh. Tanda ketupat. Ketupat sebab tak raya sebut ketupat Ataupun uh, X Equal negative 1 Or X equal negative 8 Ini pun Tak ada Tulis petakkan apa pun At least highlight your answer Okay let's try another one Solve the following quadratic equations So dekat depan Apa yang value untuk X squared Kita akan letak kat sini 11x kat sini Negative 13 Remember eh, bila dia negatif Awak sekali negatif tu kan okay? Situ Dan apa dapat 2x squared 2x darab x Apa darab apa dapat 13 13 darab 1 ataupun 1 darab 13 Jaga-jaga eh Kalau kita tulis 1 darab 13 Dekat sini nanti x darab 1 1 2x darab 13 jadi 26 x So, bila 1x tambah 26x dah jadi 27x which is too much. We want to have 11x only. Jadi jaga-jaga. So macam mana nak buat? Terbalikkan. So, then we have 13 times x minus 13. 13x. 2x minus uh, times 1 we have 2x. Tapi 13x plus 2x equal 11x. Ah jangan lupa check. Salah kita sebenarnya dekat sini yang biru ni. 13 darab 1 dapat negatif. Itu salah. So sebenarnya dia adalah negatif x. Ah eh, sorry negatif 1. So sini jadi negatif 2x lah. Then we have 13x plus negatif 2x we then we have 13x minus 2x. Ah, baru dah dapat 11. Okay. So, factors adalah in bracket, horizontal bracket. So, kita dapat 2x plus 30 and x plus 1 equal 0. Oh, bagus dia ni. 0, 5, 1. 2x plus 30, x minus 1. Okay, jangan lupa equal 0. Eh, jangan lupa equals 0. So, dari sini kita dapat 2x plus 13 equals 0. x equal negative 13. x equal negative 13 over 2. x minus 1 equals 0. x equal 1. So, ini adalah final answer. Bila kata solve the following quadratic equation, solve the quadratic equations, kena cari nilai x, kena cari roots. Sikit lagi. Sikit lagi. It's actually the 18 slides out of 26. And we have <laughs> ada seminit lagi. Can I take uh, another 15 minutes of your time today just to finish the webinar, the lecture? Okay? Masa sedekah masa sikit. Belajar. Okay, boleh eh? Okay. Sketching a quadratic function. Ikut steps ni, insyaAllah senang. Okay. Kalau kita nak lukis quadratic function, first, identify the shape of graph. Kita tengok value A tadi. Senyum, 
atau patam. Okey. Access of security boleh be dia dia adalah x equal b over negative 2a okay. and find the vertical intercept which is value of c that's the third step the fourth step okay, kita dah dapat dah axis of symmetry tadi kita letak dia s coordinate kalau dah dapat cari point yang kiri dan kanan Simetri tadi Sebab kita nak sketch Kita nampak curve dia Okay dan kelima dah ada dah all the points Then kita sketch Kita nak sketch graph untuk Fx equal x squared minus 5x minus 6 So kita identify shape of graph Kalau tengok shape of graph ni A dia adalah positif So bila positif Duit banyak kita senyum So, dah tahu dah. Second step, find axis of symmetry. X equal to. Okay, tak lebat kat sini, tak buat lagi. Kita tahu. X equal to negative B over 2A. B kita berapa? Negative 5. A kita berapa? 1. So, 2 darab 1. Tapi equation ni ada negatif. So, negatif jumpa negatif, hilang. Kita dapat 5 over 2. So 5 over 2 is the axis of symmetry. X equal to 5 over 2. C dia adalah 6. 6 ke negatif 6? Negatif 6. Ambil negatif 6 eh. Okay. So kita dah tahu dah axis of symmetry dia adalah 5 over 2. Tapi kita cari dulu dia punya Uh, vertical coordinate, fx coordinate. So kalau kita substitute, can anyone help me with the calculation? Kalau kita letak 5 over 2, turun place x, kita akan dapat apa fx? So 25 over 4 minus 5 over 2 minus 6. Ah, ni payah sikit tu dulu. Six. Six. Berapa eh? Four, four. Ah. So, no tak berapa nak cantik. Tak so ini adalah axis of symmetry. Kalau kita tengok five over two dengan negatif 49 over 4 so 5 over 2 mungkin kita katakan kat sini negatif 49 over 4 mungkin kat sini negatif 49 over 4 ini mungkin dalam 10 point negatif 10 something and negatif 10 negatif 12 point 25. Ini lah. Okay, nanti sama nanti check eh. Then, ini adalah simetri je. Simetri je dekat sini. Okay. Then, dia punya vertical intercept adalah negative 6. So, negative 6 kat sini. Dan ni tengah-tengah. So ini negative 6. So dia akan lalu kat sini nanti. Negative 14 over 1 maybe. Pakai calculator join. Try kira. Dapat tak? So kita nampak sini ada negative 5 over 2. So uh, sorry 5 over 2. 5 over 2 kalau kita buat dia adalah 2.5. So bila 2.5 kita ambil yang sebelah kiri dia. Yang sebelah kanan dia. 3. Ini kita ambil negatif 3. Ambil lah 4 dengan negatif 4. So masukkan nilai dia. Kita dapat negatif 3. 3. Negatif 3 kat sini kot. 
So set to cute. Ha, dapat value kat sini. So ini sebagai sketch dia lebih kurang akan jadi macam ni. Dia mesti lalu dekat ni eh. X intercept negative 6 ni. Dan dia senyum. Ini dia punya turning point. Saya lupa nak mention. Kalau muka senyum, turning point dia adalah minimum point. Kalau lah dia muka makam, dia punya turning point adalah maximum point. So dekat sini point dia tadi. So dia lebih kurang akan jadi macam ni. Lalu lah semua. Okay. <laughs> dia kena jadi parabola ke senyum. Tak nak tajam sangat sini. Okay, nanti betul kan? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to skip this. Okay. And then you can have a single screenshot at least. Try by yourself. Saya so, yeah, just tolong dekat sini. Uh, in. A adalah negatif. Dia jadi masam. Cari axis of symmetry Kita guna Negative B over 2A So kat sini Kita ada negative, B kita negative 3, 2A Kita negative 2 So cancel 2, 2, 4, so Axis of symmetry kita adalah pada Negative 3 over 4 C kita adalah positive 5 So 5 dekat sini dia bentuk macam dan axis of symmetry dia pada negatif 3 per 4 somewhere around here axis of symmetry lebih kurang dia akan jadi macam ni eh jadi ni tak eh Dia akan lebih kurang. Okay dah tu. Alright. So this is. Ini lebih kurang. Ini ah. guys. Kita setelkan kat dalam ni. Refer to the previous slide. Macam mana nak buat. Okay. For bonus question, we have two questions. Okay, remember, eh? whoever uh, be the first viewers yang bagi jawapan betul berserta uh, jawapan betul lah, tak yah solution. Leave it under comment space below, and then saya akan bagi tahu macam mana nak redeem hadiah. Saya akan sebut nama dan sila redeem hadiah. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, now already twelve. 8 noon. So, each question will be around 5 minutes time. Siapa yang dah master-master, I know some of my friends already here. Kita bagi kat pelajar-pelajar ya. Jawab soalan bonus. Okay guys, are you guys excited to have the bonus question? Okay. Tengok muka saya jahat. Bila muka jahat, mesti soalan ni. Soalan tak berapa nak bagus. Okay. Next question, dua soalan, dua hadiah, dua duit raya. Kalau ada seorang betul dua-dua soalan, dia first untuk dua-dua soalan, dia dapat dua-dua duit raya. Saya tak kisah. Okay. Ready? So, sama. Okay. Saya bagi masa lima minit. Kemudian saya akan tunjuk juga solution ni. Macam mana nak buat soalan ni. Okay, Nurin Hana takut. Oh, rempit eh. Jian takut tu. T A K O W D D takut. Ha, jangan. Teruk sangat takut tu. Okey, cuba. Saya bagi masa 5 minit. Jam saya 12.10. So 12.15 I going to review the solution and answer. Duit raya. Ya, yeah, betul duit raya. Come on Imran. Duit raya. Do it raya, do it now. Okay. Cepat, 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 cepat. 5 minit. 
Kalau saya bosan saya menyanyi which is the worst thing could ever uh, could ever happen to you guys. Jangan bagi cik tu pamin menyanyi. Ada elok kita nak tengok cerah sampai ke petang tiba-tiba uh, hujan lebat di tengah hari. Sian. Okey, John Wen. Cepat, saya bagi masa 5 minit. So, 15 view. Alamak, dah sikit dah orang. Mana lagi eh? Okay. The next session of mine will be for next week. Uh, if I'm not mistake, it will be on Monday. So, it's actually a match for form 5 with topics of uh, Earth as a sphere, Bumi sebagai sfera. I give you some hint. There will be a bonus question as well on that day. Alright. So one minute already passed. We have another four minutes. So for any viewers who just recently join uh, join us, uh, find that actually an alternative uh, PDPC. It's an online learning to help our students who are currently stuck at home during this PKP. Uh, now we know PKP B. So we want to help the students at uh, tak ketinggal mata pelajaran. Tolong. So, Tina, we're going to share. Uh, I can say it's not the details of the topics. Uh, kita share a view, a general view, macam mana nak buat. Okay. So, we have a details uh, class, you can go to www.pandai.org slash details. So, it's not actually maths only. We have another subjects. In fact, this whole week, we have a few sessions not few sessions, many sessions uh, untuk subjek-subjek. Kita ada English, kita ada BM, kita ada BI, kita ada Fizik, Bio, Kimia, Science. So you can subscribe all those class. Just stay tuned with uh, at our YouTube channel. So there will be another tutor that we teach uh, another subject. As for today, next session will be at 2. We have Cikgu Hariza. She will teach Physics 0.5. And later on, on the evening at 4, we have Cikgu. Ah, lupa dah nama Cikgu ni. So, dia akan ajar. Sekejap, saya check. Saya boleh check. Next week at 4 p.m. Today, we have Cikgu Hafiz. Sorry, Cikgu Hafiz. Lupa nama Cikgu Hafiz. Cikgu Hafiz akan ajar Science Form 4. Okay. So, some of you already... The answer, we have Shazwin. Uh, oh, dah bagi jawapan no pula. Okay, tak apa. Zulaika Ali, give a try as well. Fatin Shafika. Macam ni? Macam uh, mana, macam mana, Nak duit raya tak? Nak duit raya, buat sendiri. It's a quadratic. In fact, kalau nampak square root, dia adalah quadratic. Macam mana nak buat? Abang. Okay. It's 12.14. We have another one minute. Nurin Hana, where you answer? I expecting some answer from you. Okay. Dalam exam, jumpa soalan sini. Jangan terpasrah berau di atas meja. Hormati kawan-kawan yang tengah exam. Kau tengah jawab, bunyi orang berau. Seram. Berau dalam hati dulu. Pasrah dalam hati dulu. Doa banyak-banyak. Mana tahu tu buku ilham. Okay. Okay, so my clock is already 12.15. So let's do the Okay, even though we have square root here, tak nampak pun macam quadratic kan? Tadi cikgu cakap AX squared plus BX plus C equal zero. Tak nampak macam quadratic. Macam mana nak buat? First, ni trick dia eh. Alam macam ni, it's 
question, actual question from Max from four textbook. Max so and Max uh, doesn't remember it's actual. Uh, okay, dah ingat dah sekarang. Ini sebenarnya ada soalan buku teks at Max form four chapter empat. Six ini saya tengah lock tu. Okay, so my solution will be there are few solution of course would be I will let x equal to y okay x equal to y kalau x square root of x dia akan jadi uh, ini ubah lah maksudnya x jadi y square dapat Okay, eh. Clear? So, tadi X kita, kita ada X tolak 4 square root X plus 3 equal 0. X kita sama dengan Y. Square root X kita sama dengan Y squared. Eh, bukan, bukan, bukan. Bukan, bukan, bukan. bukan, bukan, bukan. Kesilapan sikit Okay, 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 okay. okay. Padam, 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 padam. Oh. So we let y squared equal to x Then Kita dapat y sama dengan square root x Okay So In equation Ini jadi y squared Ini jadi y. So kita ada y squared minus 4 y plus 3 equal 0. So use factorization yang kita dah belajar. Kita akan dapat Okay. So Solving this further, we're going to have y equal to 3 and y equal to 1. Okay. So far, yang ini dapat eh. Okay. But then, ini y kita nak x. Kita nak x. Tengok kat sini balik. Y kita adalah y square. Okay, x ni adalah y square. So, kalau x ni tadi, x sama dengan y square. So, y kita first adalah 3. So, jadi dia 3 square. Kita dapat 9. Lagi satu y kita adalah 1. So, 1 square adalah 1. Jawapannya 9 dengan 1. So, based on the common space, Life Orang yang pertama dapat jawapan 9 dan 1 adalah Zulaika Ali Okay Shazwin tak betul Bukan Shazwin tak betul Shazwin punya jawapan tak betul Okay So yang betul adalah Zulaika Ali Tanya Zulaika Ali Pemenang untuk bonus question number 1 Okay Nanti saya bagi tahu macam mana nak claim hadiah Atin V, tak habis jawapan dia. Okay. First question. Second question. Three minutes. Bagi 3 minutes. I give you 3 minutes to solve this question. If x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0, then x plus 2 over x equals to 1. Okay. My clock is 12.20. I'm going to reveal the answer in the next three minutes. 23. So, siapa lagi? Zulaika Ali. Nanti jangan lupa redeem hadiah. Duit raya. Okay, pemenang untuk soalan pertama, Zulaika Ali. Uh, rezeki pagi-pagi dapat duit raya. Bagus.
Okay, three minutes starting from now. What is the value of x plus two over x? Okay, you might be shocked with the solution I want to propose. Soalan ni best. Tak tahu soalan ni daripada mana nanti saya bagi tahu at the end of the session. I'm sure right now already 30 second have passed or more. Oh, viewers makin sikit eh, tak tahu ke mana. Sorry hari ni kelas tak lebih banyak masa. I'm expecting to end discuss at 12.15. Now already 12.20. We might end the session at 12.30. So admin of pandai Twitter, I'm very sorry. I just drag yourself uh, extra half an hour. <laughs> Zulaika Ali dah dapat duit raya. Soalan pertama. Try soalan yang kedua. Siapa orang yang kedua? Bertuah. Negative 3. Shazwin jawab negative 3. Okay. We will see. Another 2 minutes. So... Kalau bulan puasa ni kita terasa terlampau lesu. Okay. It's good to have a short nap. Tidur sekejap. Tak ada masalah. Yang masalahnya kita tidur dah lah. Subuh tidur. Bangun pukul 11. Ngantuk lagi. Sama tidur. Bangun zuhur. Tidur balik. Ah, dah jadi makhluk. Jangan. Okay. And I have some of friends yang non-Muslim. Sebab sekarang ni pun puasa as well. Well done. Susah nak puasa ni sebenarnya. Nak puasa nak buat kerja. Plus hari ni PKP dah start bekerja. So untuk PKP walaupun bila kita keluar daripada rumah kita kena berjaga-jaga. Sesiapa yang berada di rumah please berjaga-jaga juga. Sebab apa bila dah jadi PKP B ni kita duduk rumah parents ada. But then bila start hari ni, ada few companies, office or business dah kembali beroperasi. So your parents maybe go to work and just leave yourself with your siblings. Anda mungkin anak sulung. Okay, ataupun anda tinggal berseorangan. Please stay safe at your home. Uh, kalau tak berani nak memasak, nak masak apa yang belum puasa? Okay, masak tolak tepi. Another things, please stay safe at your home. Kalau ada garden. Uh, penjaga ataupun bibik bagus kalau tak ada tinggal seorang ada beradik kecil-kecil please take care of them uh, jangan buat benda yang membahaya so now already 12.23 so only Shazwin managed to give me the answer okay. where are the others so let's reveal the answer we have x square minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. We want to find the value of x plus 2 over x. Not exactly x, but x plus 2 over x. So, I move this 4x to the other side. Next, I divide both sides with x. So divide with x, divide with x. Here we will have x plus 2 over x. Here we will have 4. Loading eh, susah eh. Coden man. Baru muncul ni. Loading banyak tu sampai 3 kali. So we already have the solution. x plus 2 over x is equal to 4 and again uh, Shazwin tak bernasib baik Jawapan kurang tepat Zulaika Ali Dapat jawapan betul Well done Zulaika Ali Dua soalan Dua-dua dia betul Hebat Zulaika Ali ni Student siapa ni? Sekolah mana Zulaika Ali? Ah uh, Bagus Siapa yang ajar cikgu uh, Siapa cikgu Matt and... Bagus Dua soalan Dua-dua milik Zulaika Ali So Zulaika Ali Please Take me through FB, do PM me, PM tepi. 
This is my FB. Fahmi Zaharuddin. If any of you got some question, you may ask me to this. Just PM me, Fahmi Zaharuddin. Zulaika Ali, from there, I will help you. How can you redeem the raya? Remember, duit raya ni bukan daripada pandai. Saya yang bagi. Okay? Maksudnya, tutor lain tak bagi lagi. Saya first bagi. So, Fahmi, dapat duit raya. So, join my next class. Okay? So, Nurul Nana, woohoo! Macam dia pula yang dapat duit raya. Stand by buka Shopee lepas dapat duit raya. Okay. So, alah janganlah bagi tahu saya suka cik buku ni. Kantoi lah. <laughs> okay. But then, uh, that's all for today. I'm very very sorry. I've been dragging you this. Uh, hampir 30 minit. So, usually live webinar sejam je. Kita dah jadi sejam 30 minit. Cikgu saya pun nak duit raya. Please jawab dulu. Bagi betul dapat duit raya. Remember I have another bonus question on my next session. It will be on next Monday at 11 a.m. It is a max form 4 with topics of SS. SS square pula. Bumi untuk feta. Bumi untuk sfera. Till then, see you again. Assalamualaikum. Have a good day everyone. Bye bye. Sorry very much. That's all.